What up? What up, guys? This is Andre slash Choke Nader. Um, I'm going to do my first kind of video update on Super Psychic Royale. Uh, I'm going to tell you during this video what it is and where we're at right now. Um, so yeah, what is, what is SPR? What is Super Psychic Royale? Um, well, it started out as like a... Okay, so, so in the past year, I've been like trying my hand as a freelance artist. Um, you know, selling my art finally, and um, it's, I've been making pretty good progress, kind of learning the ways how to do it. Um, and so, uh, and, and also I post a lot of my sketches online too. And along the road, one of my friends, kind of an old time friend from high school, um, and we used to play a lot of uh, Smash together. We still do, we still play Smash together. Super Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube. Um, we, uh, he, he got together, I mean, he commented on one of my art pieces, and he was basically, it was just a kind of a friendly suggestion, uh, what if we get together and we make a fighting game? Because he's, he's kind of a hobbyist, uh, programmer, right? He's made a lot of, um, little games, game designs, uh, that he's never really finished, um, or he hasn't really finished one and, like, published it, and, uh, he's been interested in that, so he, he suggested to me, what if I could do the art for it? And I'm like, yeah, I love fighting games. I've been playing them all my life. It's It's been a passion of mine. I play Smash and Street Fighter competitively for years, you know? Um, I'm like, that would be awesome. And uh, I saw this kind of as, as an opportunity, uh, as an opportunity, um, because uh, I actually had a story that I was, like, writing throughout college. Um, it had, like, it was basically, the overarching story was, like, a ripoff of One Piece. It was kind of an amalgamation of things that in had inspired me. Like the lead female fan art was, a, the, the lead female character was a glorified fan art of like Nana the Ice Climber, right? Um, the love interest was based on my relationship at the time. The main character was based off of me. It had, I had a lot of like shonen power fantasy tropes, you know? Um, and I used all those things to organize kind of a narrative. Um, and the only quirky premise of the story was that like, what if, what if people and dinosaurs lived at the same time? But not like your caveman story, but rather, what if dinosaurs like lived in the modern era? That was like the only cool premise of the story. Um, and I just wanted to make something cool and adventurous, right? And uh, I th at the time I thought, you know, it was great. And I think in retrospect, I still think the story was pretty great. Um, I trust that it was, uh, or at least decent. And um, I think over time I've kind of refined my skills at storytelling, um, I hope. Um, especially through the work I've done on the film that I want to make about Joan of Arc, which is still in the works, by the way. It's just kind of on the back burner for now because of the current project, um, which is something I think a little more marketable, uh, a little more immediately marketable, which is good for me because as an artist, I have to treat myself as, as a business, you know, like, and I just want to make beautiful things, not just things that people ask me to do in commission, but beautiful things that I want to show that hopefully people find valuable. Um, but anyway... Uh, the concept for the game, uh, what what like will set it apart from other fighting games, or at least in in, in both of our eyes, um, Nick told me, instead of strong characters punching and kicking each other, what if what if the characters have psychic powers, and their expression of these powers give them cool movement and um, cool attacks. So uh, I mean I think it's it's probably been done in fighting games, but I think the characters that we have created are super unique, um, and uh, I, I really like the ideas. Um, but, so, a lot of the characters are recycled, is, is why I brought up that old story. Um, that, like, for example, four of the characters we have, I listed them down here. Um, Michelina, the character who levitates chairs. She has telekinesis, but only with chairs, right? It's a weird power that we came up with. We have Sorbet, um, sort of their main poster child of the game. Uh, she has no psychic powers, but, uh, she has super strength that she gained from her father's, uh, her father's a chef, and he cooks, he's a psychic, and he can create, like, ESP-enhanced superfood, right? And she's eaten it all her life, and she became super strong from it. That's another idea. And then we have Trisha, like, the secret tech agent, a technology person, but she can generate electricity from her own body with her psychic powers. And then we have Choi. Uh, he doesn't have powers either, but he is, like, he came from, uh, the kind of the gutter, and he was raised, like, as a caveman almost with, with dinosaurs and stuff. And he's sort of a happy trolley kid, and he decided to hunt down and challenge espers, who are the psychic people, for fun, right? So we have these characters kind of who kind of like interact with each other kind of randomly in the world. 
And uh, these these are those four characters in particular were recycled from the old story. So these these are ideas I had before and a world that I already built, which is why I feel like even the eight new characters, um, uh, I, they feel kind of grounded in a world that's pretty well established. Um, and that's why I think the the story is like the characters are super interesting already. Uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, obviously that's up to the audience to decide. But as as the artist, I trust myself and I, I find them pretty interesting. So I hope that other people do too. Um, and obviously you can find them online, you can find my designs and drawings and stuff either on my Facebook or our um, uh, SPR's Facebook page which is simply facebook.com slash super psychic royale with no spaces. Royale, R-O-Y-L-E, like a royale with cheese, right? Um, so Facebook again, facebook.com slash super psychic royale. And if you want to support us, you don't have to give us any money or anything like that. I'll, I just want you to check out what we're doing. Um, and just like the page and uh, check out some of the drawings on there. Um, so, uh, I, but you probably noticed that we haven't updated it in a while. Um, and that's because, uh, you know, we haven't ne necessarily been idle. Um, but I've actually been putting a lot of work to really flesh out the world in the story. Because I don't want just these 12 characters. Like, uh, Nick asked me at one point, how many espers are there? And I said, oh, it's a really rare power in this world. And he said, okay, so about how many? And I said, there's got to be less than 100 um, in the world. Uh, and how are they all going to meet each other? Well, maybe they still think the power is mysterious and they all haven't met each other yet. And I think that's what the story is kind of kind of, going to be about. Um, but so I said less than 100, just kind of just thinking about the concept. And since then, I've actually made a list of almost 100 characters with, with psychic powers. In, in These are kind of unique powers that I, you know... Superpower fantasies have a long history in comics, in uh, in movies, and I really tried to come up with stuff that has never that hasn't been done before, which is pretty hard. Um, and probably a lot of the stuff has been done before, but my creative process is like really random. So I'm hoping that at least a few of these characters are pretty unique and that you will like them. Um, I like a lot of them, and uh, we're, we're all constantly working on this. There's a small team of us who are working on these ideas, and we're having a lot of fun with it. So. Um, hopefully, you, you whoever's in, you know listening to this video right now can kind of join in on the fun um, and just interact with us as we come up with these and, and show you these ideas. Um, so also, you know, not just a video game. I'm, I'm trying to create a world here. I'm trying to create a story, and hopefully, if the story is good enough, uh, I'm hoping it can take off and it can be adapted into like other kinds of games or like a cartoon or movie adaptation. I mean, I mean that's really ambitious, but. You know, you gotta start from ground zero. You gotta start from step one. Uh, I'm gonna restart the song, by the way. I love this song. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, start from scratch here and and just tell a story. That's all I want to do. And even in the game, in a fighting game, I'm hoping we, you know, we really want to focus on story mode, not just cool and interesting fighting, but um, the story mode is like my passion. Um, and uh, you know, that's that's kind of what I've been putting my time and thought into. So, um, that's pretty much my update. Um, oh yeah, so, uh, so for the next month, where, where I'm at now is I'm, I'm prepared to write, uh, first, I want to finish the list of characters, um, at least the, just the psychic characters, um, obviously not all the characters for the entire story, no, but, um, I, I, I want to just start giving the story to people, and so I kind of wrote up, um, a sort of summary for a comic chapter, a uh, uh, first comic book chapter uh, that'll be released digitally for people, and I also I want to print out hard copies for anyone who wants one um, of this story. And uh, I know all of you have never seen any of it before, besides some of the character designs. But if you want to partake and participate in this new story, brand new story that I'm bringing in, bringing to you, um, be sure to check that out. And I'll, I'll I'll let you guys know once it's close to being finished how you could do that. Um, so thank you for listening. That's pretty much my update. Um, by the way, this song is one of my favorite songs right now. It is Plastic Love by Maria Takeuchi. So check it out on YouTube. Plastic Love. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's my sort of first video update slash blog for now on Sup and SPR, Super Psychic Royale. I want to thank you guys for listening. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. All right, Or I'll see you at ModestoCon. All right? Peace.